What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In today's video, it's a bit of an interesting one actually, um, I'm going to be giving away a lot of information and one person, probably more, um, you know, people who actually watch this video and kind of let everything soak in and just listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change, change your life. Basically, right, um, I'm going to be giving away my first two sites and kind of a breakdown of kind of why I think, you know, I, I failed with them um, and what I would do differently and kind of, you know, what you guys can learn from that. Um, just because, you know, I I think there's a, there's, there's a lot you can learn from going through failure um, and learning from other people's failure, right? Um, and that's one thing I realized with this channel I haven't done as much. It's kind of showcase, you know, hey, this stuff didn't work or, um, you know, this is why something didn't work and why, you know, um, you can improve upon that, right? Because you guys can learn a lot about, you know, um, things that don't work, right? So that's that, that's, a, that's a way to cut the learning curve. and. Basically, I want to just kind of be super, super transparent with you guys. A lot of you guys have been with me, you know, um, from the start. Some of you guys, you know, haven't ever heard of me before. Uh, that's okay. But I want to just kind of show you guys, you know, this is what I do. Um, and this is kind of like why I uh, I started I started this channel and everything is just to yeah, like help you guys. And I'll explain everything. I'm gonna screen share everything with you guys as well. But basically, I'm walking through my first two sites. Um, if you guys don't know, you know, a lot about me. My name is Thaddeus. Um, I've been doing this for almost three years now, guys. I started senior year of high school. I'm 20 now, and um, I failed. I failed a lot. Okay, I tried to create my own brand, private label, um, before I even knew what dropshipping was. That that was something that you know, because I always was like, yo, I want my own company. I want my own you know products that I can rep and I can wear and I can show off. And that that was my mindset. But I didn't I didn't <laughs> I didn't have the money or the, the marketing knowledge to uh, do anything with that. So that yeah, failed miserably. But um, the whole reason I started YouTube, right? Um, I I wanted the whole reason I started like building this personal business brand online, right? Is to literally help people out. Uh, believe it or not, right? A lot of people say that, but um, if any of you guys know me um, or have you know been following me for a while or uh, follow me on other social media and whatnot, like you guys know, I never talk about business or dropshipping or YouTube on any other social media, okay? You will never see me talk about this on Instagram. You will never see me post about this on Snapchat. Um, you will never see me post about anything like this on Facebook. Literally nothing, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't let anyone even know I have a YouTube channel. Um, this is kind of like an insider thing for you guys. Um, I literally never talk about my courses on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, um, anything like that. I never, you know, promote my courses through little stories. None of that stuff, guys. It's literally just like, I have this little hub here for you guys to help you guys get results, okay? Because that's what got me, quote unquote, you know, free. That that's that's what kind of like broke me out is is getting started with drop shipping, and that's what allowed me to like help my family out, and that's what that's that's literally like why I try and do it for you guys. Um, believe it or not, right? I mean, obviously, not everyone's gonna believe that, but that's what I do, guys. That's why I don't like I don't promote my course and everything on other social media platforms. I'm not like throwing random, you know, weekly deals on my course and shit. Like my course is there only as like a package, right? I personally think you guys can learn every single thing you need to learn without, you know, going through someone's course, okay? I did that. I didn't buy a course when I first started, but you are going to fail a lot and you have to be willing to be very, very patient and you got to, you know, experiment, right? I basically created, you know, um, the course as basically a way just to have everything, you know, all in one place. I remember when I first got started dropping guys, like I would Google and Google and Google stuff and like literally like stupid stuff just to find you know, that one answer that'll solve this one super tiny problem that, you know, I didn't even know I had two days ago. Um, stuff like that, right? So that, that's the reason I have it. I never really even like promote it in my videos that much anymore, guys. Like, seriously, a lot of you guys that know me, like, you know, I, I, I never talk about this on social media. Um, and that's, that's literally why I started YouTube. I just want to like really create this content to help you guys out. And you know, it's cool building my own personal brand and having you know people like support me and like literally like change people's lives. That's the best feeling like ever. When someone DMs you and say, "Hey man, I was broke," or "Hey man, I was trying to help my mom out with their rent because you know I don't like I never had a father figure stuff like that." That's that's the best feeling ever. All this stuff kind of uh, is just piling up. I want to be super transparent with you guys. Like I want to show you guys, I failed with my first two sites. Uh, I'll get into the reasons in a bit, right? This again, this might be a longer video, but um, this is made only for like the, the people that really are in, are dedicated to kind of drop and kind of like learning everything, right? Because this is not just going to be like why my first store failed. I'm going to walk you guys through like as much as I can about my first two stores um, and why I think they failed and just the things behind them and show you guys literally like everything. I'll go into PayPal, um, pull up the 1099 forms for those two stores, um, 
all the little backends for the social media, the Stripe dashboards and everything now. Uh, I just want to be transparent and like, show you guys like, hey, this is, this is what you can do. This is why I failed so miserably um, with my first store after you know, seeing the first initial success. Because that was my first successful store, but my first failure, quote unquote, um, after getting results of a store. So that's what I want to do. Um, Basically, yeah, guys, like going back to like why I build a personal business brand, like this is like literally for you guys. Um, I have so many other plans outside of business, right, and social media. Um, like I own a collective called Team Atlas. I don't know if you guys know, but that's like purely to like inspire people through like travel and just creating this beautiful, like awesome content. If you guys have seen, I posted like one or two videos on this channel. That's it um, with that kind of like content vibe I'm going for. Um, just to kind of like inspire people to actually get up and do something with their lives. That's literally like what I have, like that's that's my passion about social media, like that's what I want to do. I don't want to brand myself as a business guru. Um, that's why I keep these videos very low key, I don't post them anywhere else um, on any social media platform. Um, yeah guys, as far as that goes, like what else I do is just, you know, SaaS software. I've been trying to get into that for months now, guys. I lost $30,000 to a software developer, completely my fault too, again, like lesson learned. Um, Trying to trying to get my first software started and that was a huge, huge flop. Um, something I'll get into I guess when I start making more videos related to software and whatnot. But there's that. Um, I own a few social media marketing agencies. Um, I have shut down a few social media marketing agencies. Guys, it's like a given give and take. Basically, you start something, it can go really really well. It can go really really well for a period of time. Um, you close it down. But there's a lot of things that I do. Okay, I have six drop shipping stores. You guys know that I have. Three dropping, drop shipping stores, additional stores being made right now. One is purely for the zero to one K challenge that I'm starting with Sebastian. So literally guys give you free content, right? Like I don't want you guys thinking I only make this stuff to sell a course. That's not it, okay? Like literally I'm making a zero to one K completely free so you guys can actually see the process and the walkthrough of this. So you guys can be like, oh shit, this is possible. I can actually get sales selling things that I don't even own online. Okay, because if I can like make you believe that, then you can make yourself believe that you can sell ten thousand or hundred thousand dollars of that stuff. Okay, so that that's my goal. Okay, and that's my goal with this channel, just to kind of like offer you know this value. Again, this is gonna be a really long video, guys. I apologize if you are impatient, but for you guys that do stick around, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna learn a lot. Okay, so basically, I want to kind of jump into the screen share now um, a little bit, but um, actually cutting back. Man, yeah, so basically, that's like why. I do like this business push run. Like I don't even run paid ads for my courses or for my channel. I don't run paid ads on anything for this YouTube channel. Like it's just it's my channel. Okay, and it's the videos. Okay, there's there's other you know dropshipper YouTubers out there that run ridiculous ads for their courses. They run they post all over social media like Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff. Like that's that's not me. That's not what I'm about. I'm just here to post content, and help you guys out. Um, <laughs> that's literally it, okay? Um, yeah, guys, getting into that, I want to start the screen share, kind of show you guys basically a walkthrough, just everything that I'm able to show you guys. So a quick backstory, right? I started my first successful store sometime in 2016. I think summer 2016, we'll, we'll know when I pull the documents. Um, basically I had a few really good months, a couple really good months, and then things started to go down. And you know, looking back now, I'm able to actually really see why. Um, but that's basically what I did. And then I sold my site the moment I started noticing a dip, um, just cause I was, <laughs> I was a young kid. And you know the the I was trying to be business smart by diversifying. So I was like, yo, I gotta start a bunch of these shops. Um, you know, I can scale all of them up. But like I just wasn't I wasn't ready. I didn't know enough about marketing. I literally didn't know anything about Facebook ads at the time. That was that was that was me. So basically, I had a really really good um, three three ish months and uh, with with my first successful store. And that's when I started YouTube. Right? I was like, yo, I'm gonna show people this because like I'm excited. Like I finally did it. Um, but yeah, so that that's that. And um, after that. I found um, I found a buyer basically for my first two stores, and uh, you guys will see. I literally I'm gonna show you guys everything. So I'm gonna walk through the emails that I sent with him. I literally sent we went back and forth over like a hundred plus emails um, just to get the contract finalized and um, ratified. I think that's the word where you have to go to a bank and sign it. But stuff like that, guys, just to kind of walk you guys through exactly the process of what I did with my first store and you know like why kind of sales went down, why I sold it, what I did afterwards, and you know throughout uh, the process, right? So. That's this video, and I guess we'll just start start the screen share, okay? So, all right guys, so we are on the screen now. I am tiny, and first thing we wanna do, right? Uh, I have a bunch of these tabs open, right? Cause I wanna have you guys do like, literally everything about my first, and um, I mean a little bit on my second store too. Um, there's not too much about it, but I think the first thing we'll start off is basically the Instagrams, guys, of these two pages. So, if you guys don't know already, my first store ever was called The Nugget Shop. Um, 
it was literally just men's accessories, all right? I saw the website probably around here, these pictures, okay? Because if you guys can tell, if you scroll up, these are not good. This is not quality content, all right? If you scroll down, this is the content I was supposed to like. This is why I preach content is king, guys. If you have solid content, you can sell a lot, all right? So this is like, this is this is really why I preach it. We had really, really good content, really quality content um, to kind of like actually make us look like a brand. Um, so that, that was my goal with my first site. That's why I think my first site did so well is because I, I came out with this angle, right? Um, my second site, I've never revealed this actually, but my second site is actually called The Covert Coin. It was really the same thing, but I tried to actually go kind of like the, the lazy route, right? And only, you know, not only, but mainly post these AliExpress images, um, not creating too much of my own content, like at all, and seeing how that did, okay? So it was almost like a, like a, like a split test in a way because I was selling the same stuff, right? But it was just two completely different angles. Um, which I thought was really, really interesting. It's something that you guys, because again, like, I think you guys are going to learn a lot in this video, um, kind of just how people uh, react, basically, to all this stuff. But basically, those are my two Instagram accounts. Um, we can pull up the, uh, the social media. Again, I'll just refresh all these pages and whatnot, because there's always non-believers. <laughs> but um, this was the page, guys. This was the growth um, over time. As you guys can see, this was 2016. So this is my very, very first store that really saw a lot of traction. Um, again, with this, this um, kind of growth, what I did mainly was one giveaways, and whenever I bought shadows from influencers, I would have them like, like spam like a bunch of my images. Okay, so that's what I did a lot to get that kind of uh, traction. This again, the algorithm was a pretty, pretty different back then in 2016 compared to Instagram's algorithm now. Um, so that process doesn't necessarily work as well. Giveaways still work really well, but having them like a bunch of pictures to just hit the explore page and hit their followers, um, you know, um, explore feed basically um, doesn't work as well. But that, that's what I did for this one. As you can see, um, Covert Coin, if we go to the Covert Coin, Social Blade here, uh, refresh that. You guys will see this was basically the same kind of curve um, that we did just at a different time period, probably like two months behind um, the actual nugget. Because I started, because again, I had, that, I had that business mentality. I tried to have that business mentality where I was like, hey, I have a first successful store. I got to diversify. I got to make another store and, you know, make more sales and make another store, make another store. And um, one of the big things I realized is I, I did it too fast. And I'll show you guys even later down the road when, I, when we get to PayPal and stuff and, the, and, and all that money. Um, but you guys will see, like, I, I, did, it, I, I did it too fast. Um, so that's basically the social media, guys. Um, basically, like, as I told you guys before, I sold off the website. So, like, I literally can't access them. I can literally try and log in here. So um, I'm on the uh, store address. Literally, I, I'm showing you guys the store address is shopnugget.moshopify.com. The email address is my personal email address. Uh, don't try and email me there because this is my junk email now. Um, but if you try and log in, it literally is not going to let me. So unauthorized access, only the store owner's permission to access this page. Um, so you guys will see like store owner's Michael Fox. Um, basically, I'll, I'll walk you guys through all that stuff. But I can't log into that and I can't log into the Cover Coins uh, Shopify store either, unfortunately, because I mean they were both sold off. So um, that's that. And walking through again, I want to be super transparent with you guys um, and kind of like also show you guys like the like how to transfer all these assets as well, like if you guys ever do sell your store. Or store. Um, but basically with this website, right, this is a who is search up, you can really type in a domain and basically find out who owns the domain or who registered the domain. Um, so that's something we can do. So basically like even for the covert coin, um, you can just look up domains. This is just so like most of the times they're private guys, but again, these are the first stories that I had success with. Like, I didn't know to keep things private, so everything is still right here. Um, this is my old house, and like this is my old address, um, which I don't think I should have in the video, but um, yeah. So that's that's that, guys. So literally, it's just that's the Whois lookup. I'll do one for the Nugget as well. This one, um, again, I, if you guys know my story, you guys know I started this when I was dirt broke, right? So this one, my friend actually bought the domain. His name is Julian. Um, as you guys can see, he's literally in the, the same same city, same state. Um, but he he bought that for me and then this is uh this is godaddy right so this is where you can actually manage your domain so you eventually transfer that over to me the domain is the nugget.com and right now it's parked so there's no traffic uh going to it and um that's that's about it in regards to the domain um i never ended up transferring the domain to the actual owner just because he the 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 weird thing was like in, in in the assets that he wanted he only wanted the social media handles and the Shopify like platform. Um, he never wanted the domain, interestingly enough. So I still had access to it. Um, we were on good terms, so I never you know, needed to do anything with it. I kind of just left it here. But that goes with that, and basically kind of do, um, 
I have that side of things up. This is the emails for it. Um, this was, all right guys, this is, a, this is a post that I made September 30th, 2016, okay? So this was, um, if you, you guys can literally Google this. It's on the Shopify forums. It's um, obviously it's updated, right? So it's from a few years ago. But th this is why I tell you guys, like I'm here to like literally try and help you guys out, okay? Like literally, I posted this just so I could help people out on Shopify, okay? I'm like, hey, um, you know, I want to share my experiences thus far. I created the nugget, um, grossing just under 50K, around 30K with profit. Um, the best part, 90% of sales traffic came through Instagram. Um, I talked a little bit about another brand I was trying to start again. I was trying to diversify too quickly, guys. Um, but that's what that's that's kind of where we're averaging, you know, $1.50 um, per visitor. And I was literally just, hey, if anyone has questions, literally just shoot me an email or this. So I was literally that little kid trying to help people out because I like I thought I struck gold, um, you know, doing doing these kind of, these kind of numbers. Um, but that's that's basically it. Um, trying in terms of like trying to um, show that side of things. But um, in essence, now we'll get to the PayPal account. So basically. With this um, account, oh shoot, what was it? I haven't logged into this stuff in forever. Um, I believe it's support at the nugget.com. Password, I don't know to tell you guys. <laughs> um, all right, so log in to see if that works. Sweet. And I still have $400 in the account, okay. Um, so this is the PayPal account, guys. I wanted to pull up um, just the 10 minutes so you guys can kind of see basically how like transactions sorted. Because I know for, for those of you experienced with Shopify and whatnot, um, you guys, like, I mean, me personally, I had probably 20 to 35% of all my sales come in through PayPal. Um, so just going from that, we'll pull up PayPal's 1099 and download it right now. Right there. Wait for that to download. Click it. Oh, I don't think it recorded the screen anyways, but... Um, Okay, uh, I'll it again, my bad. Okay, um, okay, so uh, I think I need to block out some of the information on here, I'm not super sure. But as you guys will see, so this is June, right? So I was, again, I was telling you guys, I had roughly, I, I wanna say 30, I wanna be on the higher end of it, uh, more conservative, but probably 35% of my orders came through PayPal. Um, so as you can see, June, 5,796, July, 5,000, August, so like, really we had a three really solid months um, and then on that fourth month, that's when I saw a decline. I was like, oh shit, um, I was kind of tripping out. But again, I, I'll show you guys, like I was spending a lot of money here trying to diversify too quickly. Um, I'll, I'll get more in depth in that as well with you guys, but this is kind of the, uh, the 1099 form for um, everyone uh, that's, that's really just asking for it. But that goes with this and that's, I mean, that's really just show you guys numbers um, in terms of like who bought from PayPal. And then going back, I want to actually kind of walk you guys through the activity and kind of like explain to you guys where money was going because I think I think just being super transparent and kind of um, showing you guys literally what I was spending money on and where it was going will actually kind of like give you guys an insight into like my mind and kind of where what I was thinking right with with stuff and uh, don't know how far back let's just go all the way to the beginning of 2016 I guess so with this I'm wait for it to pull up all the activity. Um, as you guys can see though, there's, I mean, these, um, so for example, I'm just, sorry, I'm just, I'm just looking at all this stuff. So for example, the big payments that you guys see coming out, right? So this one, Jay Cardillo or MFE men's fashion. Basically, I, I told you guys this before, like how I avoided the Shopify hold, I would put other brands products on my website. All right. And by doing that one, I was selling, you know, other products not imported from overload. So I didn't get hit with the hold. Um, but I also increased my brand's image because I was being paired next to other luxury items. Right. So when people actually bought those items, then I would give this brand, you know, like a cut, like I'd say, Hey, I'm just going to take, you know, 20% of the product if they end up buying it and then give you the rest. So that would these payouts, the MFP men's fashion promotion, um, LTD. That was my influencer that I did a revenue spare with, right? I told you guys, I, I, I've told you guys on these days, you guys have stuck around, like this is, this is like, I want this all to make sense for you guys. If you guys have stuck around, you guys remember him saying like, hey, I didn't have money in my bank account. Like that's why my friend bought the domain for me, okay? That's why I had a revenue share, not even a profit share, guys. I was desperate to make things work. Like I was really doing everything I could. So I did a revenue share. So I literally just accounted his percent into my cost of goods. Okay, that's all it was, um, of 15%, okay? With this influencer. He owned about six pages totaling, I'd probably say two million to four million followers. Uh, my boy Sebastian's calling me. Um, give me one second.
Yo, I'm recording a video right now, so I'll call you back in a little bit. Alright, see you, bro. But, um, yeah, yeah, so basically I did a revenue share with, with, these, with this influence because I, get, I didn't have money for marketing, right? And I, I just wanted to make things work. I was desperate, 18 year old, trying to make things work, okay? So, um, that's, that's, his payout basically was just um, percents, right? And this is, like, this is like way after the site's already like been dying. Um, so, and so that's why I want to kind of scroll down um, a lot more. And kind of show you guys these bigger transactions so I can actually get into the reason why I think this site failed. Um, basically, guys, so for example, all right, this is, this is another Jay Cardillo um, sale. Uh, let's go all the way down. Basically, guys, you'll just see all these transactions. So, I mean, this is just people buying buying product. Recently. Actually, I don't want to show anyone's address. That's a bad idea. Um, <laughs> uh, but this is just um, people buying product. I want to get to the point where I was spending quite a few thousand again this is another influencer payout uh scroll down more so maybe i think i can sort this by date and just kind of reverse it nope okay whatever i'm just scroll all the way down so we can do that um okay there's another influencer payout guys on august 22nd paid nearly three thousand dollars um all of this stuff going on but what i really want to show you guys is um I mean, as you see, there's just more, more and more transactions. Um, where is it? Sorry, guys, I literally haven't looked through this in forever, so I'm trying to find, um, trying to find everything. Another J. Cardillo payout. Um, I'm trying to find the big payments. Let's see, I'm not gonna skip through them anyways. All transactions, oh, payment sent, let's just, <laughs> that's probably easier. Okay, um, let's see. So, okay, as you guys see, okay, this makes it even easier too. So these are just us paying out other companies and brands that we were trying to do. So basically guys, why I think my first site failed. I tried to bring everything in-house way too quickly, right? So again, what I tell you guys is like, hey, when you start a dropship store, if they can tell you're dropshipping, you're doing it wrong, right? You want to create your own brand. And what I was trying to do is actually create my own brand with like branded products. So I was investing a lot of the money back into that stuff. So you guys will see like metal LTD companies, like all this stuff. Like we were ordering inventory of different companies, trying to bring everything in house and like shipping our own products out um, way too quickly though. So like we, we spent stupid, ridiculous money. As you guys can see, like I'm sure you guys will notice by now, like this is way more than the 1099 or what, yeah, 1099 form on PayPal, like just to show you guys, like it was making a lot more than just PayPal um, payments. But um, basically of all this, um, basically of all this stuff, it's just a lot of um, payouts. Like we were trying to scale out just way too quickly. Okay, I think um, that was the big issue. And again, I didn't know anything about paid ads. So um, I didn't start paid ads soon enough. That was another big problem. I was getting, I was just purely Instagram influences and going ham with that stuff. Um, I, but yeah, so I was going, you know, um, heavily on Instagram influencers, doing a bunch of shout outs every single day, doing that kind of stuff um, with with our influencer and everything. And that's that's basically what generated these results. I did have Facebook ads like running at a certain point, but again, I didn't know enough of his. I didn't know about targeting. I didn't know about like look like audiences. I I had a Facebook pixel on board, but I wasn't using the pixel to target anything. It was it was. It was stupid. I was very stupid with my first one. That's why I hope you guys can like understand and hopefully learn something um, and get a cool takeaway out of this. Is that you know this, this is what um, what you guys can can kind of look at. But basically, guys, as like to sum this part, this portion up is just like show you guys the 1099. Um, I showed you guys you know all these kind of all these payouts, payments, sent. Um, we can go back to payments received um, if you really want to. But um, stuff like that. It's just you know these are just all like customers and whatnot. Um, what else I want to show you guys? Uh, oh, I do want to actually show you guys all the uh, all the orders actually. Give me a second. Um, just to back it all up, right? So, guys, I had a folder called the Nugget where just everything that came in from the Shopify store was um, was was placed, right? So, again, um, for anyone saying <laughs> he fakes his orders, um, which I think is absolutely absurd and just ridiculous to call me out on, but. Um, this is literally like every, oh, as you guys see, this, this, this person, um, this again, this is towards the end of, of kind of like when the site was dying off, we had one person place ridiculous risk of fraud orders that we had to refund. 
Um, but again, if we just go way, way, way back, um, at least outside of October, you guys will see um, a bunch of just, I mean, just, just orders, right? So like we can click any of these things. Um, it's sent by, you know, via Shopify.com, um, from what it tells, whatever. Like again, guys, I sold men's accessories. So hey, this guy bought the Lava Stone Rebraces for $14, guys. I, I see people selling this for like $6, right? If you brand yourself right, you can sell it higher, more profit, okay? That, that's, I think that's a big mistake that people don't realize is that if they brand it properly, you can sell for a lot more, okay? So here's shades, someone bought for $34.99, okay? Uh, I'm just literally just clicking on anything. Here's an anchor bit, someone bought for $22, a bracelet for $22, guys. Someone bought a bracelet for $22, okay? It probably only cost me $2 from, from my supplier, okay? So that's what I'm saying, guys. Branding will give you better profits, okay? This one, a uh, rope bracelet for $80, guys. A rope bracelet for $80. Okay, I'm literally just clicking random orders. This guy bought two braces for $14 each. Um, this person, you know, bought a lava bracelet for $14 each. I'm um, just clicking randomly. This one, <laughs> see, this guy bought um, a bunch of stuff, three bracelets and a pair of shades, okay? Um, this one bought a spike necklace for $128. See guys, it's branding. If you can brand your, your store with good content, you can sell high, okay? And that's, that's the thing, guys, with, with dropshipping, right? Your margins usually aren't stellar, but if they aren't stellar, like, what can you do about it, right? You can either cut your cost of goods or increase the price of your product and brand it, right? So that it's, you can actually, like, dictate, like, you can actually have a reason for you able to pay that much um, for your product. But guys, again, we can scroll through all this stuff, but these are literally all the orders happening every single day. Um, for all this stuff, and I will show you guys the actual back end of the site, but I can't access it because um, I sold it off. So I'll actually guys show you the the contract and everything as well. So that if you guys ever do sell a site, you guys can actually kind of use the contract that um, that I was uh, that I signed and whatnot with the, with the owner and everything. But guys, these are again just more more orders coming through. Um, you know, every single day, this one person bought a hat for eighteen dollars. Um, I've seen people sell dad caps for nine or eleven dollars. Right? We sold it for eighteen. If you have good branding, you guys can sell higher priced products. Okay. Um, I just really bought a pair of shades for $29, okay? So again, I think you guys get the point, but these are just all orders that I had organized just because, again, these notifications were going to my personal email at the time. Um, so I just separated it. So like all of this was, um, you know, in here, basically. And like every, you can see everyone's shipping address. Um, so yeah, get out of here with all the uh, fake order bullshit. But um, that's, <laughs> that's, that's that, guys. And then I'm trying to see what else I can show you guys. Um, oh, I could show you guys. Um, actually, this is my email. Um, the uh, contract basically. So with that, let me Google it. All right, search it. All right. So with this one, guys. So his name again, as like you guys saw, um, when I like tried to log into the old Shopify site, his name was Michael Fox. Um, this was him. Basically, um, he emailed me right because I made a post on Shopify forum um, uh, a while, like you know, when when things were starting to go down. I was saying, hey, if anyone's interested in buying this site, please hit me up. He emailed me, and you know, he said, hey. You know, I do SEO for a firm that generates 20K to 60K per day in revenue, right? So obviously, me being 18, my first successful site, I'm just like, oh my God, 20K a day, 60K a day, like that's ridiculous. Um, so I'm freaking out, like he immediately has my attention. Um, I'm, immediately, I'm immediately like, hey, this is the one I want. This is, you know, this is the guy I wanna sell it to. Um, but then again, I'm trying to be smart about it, so I don't, I don't wanna collect a lump sum um, right away. I want royalties, right? So I, I'm thinking like, Hey, you know, if he's doing this much, if he can scale a site to this much, and I can just give him the site and you know collect a little percent of profits, I'm okay with that, right? Because I was like, hey, like I gotta diversify. I want to make more stores. This would be nice. Like he can do his own thing with this store. He sent me screenshots of you know his sites and whatnot. I think he also was in the industry of um, I don't know what to call it, erotic goods. Yeah, um, that's <laughs> weird industry, but lots of money in it. Um, so that's what he was in for, guys. And as you guys can see, we uh, we went back and forth a lot like this is a lot of emails trying to figure everything out guys um this is the contract basically or uh, yeah one the con yeah so this is like super simple contract again this is i'm 18 I, I, I didn't know exactly what i was doing but again you guys can see this is everything we did we transferred all assets for the two websites that i showed you the cobra coin and the nugget shop um and then we had to sign it basically he got his notarized, so official seal, C. W. Daniels um, of Oregon, commission number 477, whatever. Um, that was him, basically, he commissioned, and then I had to go sign it, um, which I think is gonna be one of these somewhere down here. No, not that one. Here it is, actually, no, that's, okay, I signed him. So, basically, as you guys can see, I scanned the PDFs of me getting uh, my signature, basically, uh, notarized, which means you, which, it literally means you take it to a bank, and a bank teller, 
watches you sign the document. Like you, you give your ID, you everything, so it's like a legit like like they know you signed it. There's no like loopholes around it, essentially. Um, and then this was just tips that I gave him, basically, because I I did a lot of um, cause yeah, I was I was trying to help him out. I was trying to like hey. Like, I'm gonna try and help you like, get whatever sales I can. So again, that's more commission for me um, afterwards. But basically, so this is what I said, products tend to die after around two months of steady promotion. Um, we were entering this strategy, um, but we never, so basically, um, yeah, actually, I'll keep this up for you guys because this, um, this is good stuff for you guys to learn. Um, basically, um, on the 25th, right, we would search for new products on Oberlo, right? On the 25th of every single month, we'd make, you know, we'd look for products, right? Uh, five products, and then, again, my, my product strategy is a little bit different now, but this is like, th this still works, right? If you're swapping new products, right? So I would find top five new products to market heavily, okay? I would take the top five products of the previous month, keep those in, and I would just cut off the bottom five products, okay? So again, that means every single month you have five new products that your audience that hasn't seen yet, right, that you can make more money off of, and you're keeping your best sellers to milk more money out of, okay, does that make sense? Um, so that was kind of the product strategy for it. Um, again, Instagram promos, right? I didn't mess with accounts below 400 followers, you guys, I've told you that before, again, the market's changed now though, so like now I do do a lot of followers that are you know a lot smaller and a lot bigger. I actually stay away from accounts around 400 to a million now. Um, interestingly enough, right? Market market changes. So that's that, guys. Um, basically, I was just kind of walking him through some other some other stuff. But that was um, that was it. That's the password. Oh, I probably should open that <laughs> passwords for everything. Um, and then just doing um, yeah. I mean, that's basically it. I don't want to go through yeah. Okay, so that's that's all that stuff. So that was um. That was basically just kind of walking through like, hey, this guy offered to buy my site. Um, one thing I did, guys, is I didn't like vet him thoroughly. Right? He he didn't do a good job of branding. As you guys can see, the Instagram post and whatnot, he, he completely butchered it. Um, and he basically ran into the ground really quick, right? So he did SEO for a firm that was doing really big numbers, but he didn't know how to actually do like, pay, like paid marketing for a firm. Like he didn't know how to do Instagram ads or Facebook ads that well. Um, so it was my fault. I kind of like, that, that's why I regret giving away my store, giving away my site, just because damn, like, I let this, I let, I let it kind of run into the ground after like my, my hard work and like trying to get everything set up for it. Um, which, which is, which is my fault. I hope you guys can, can kind of learn from that too. Um, but, um, that's, that's really, that's really, I mean, this is, uh, is this the same account or this is the same account? I don't even know. Um, oh, oh wait, shoot the Cobra coin. Right? This is, this is, um, wait, this is 387. Isn't that the nugget? Okay. I'm going to log in as well to the Cobra coins, PayPal. Um, just to show you guys that as well. Um, I think it would be hello.com. Let's see, that works. Okay, that works. <laughs> There's 25 bucks in that one. Okay, um, so basically, this is the Covert Coin store, right? That I told you guys. So I had two stores. Um, like, when I started literally like two months after, because um, again, I was on that, you know, gotta diversify. I was just doing it too quickly. Um, but this is the also, this is the, uh, the 1099 form as well that we're gonna download. And then up okay so um this is this one guys as you guys can see so this was this site i was only doing like this i haven't like shown this site a lot like i didn't even tell people i own two stores um especially when i started youtube because again guys, when i started youtube i just was showcasing like hey this is really good results i started like i wasn't trying to um like i don't know i just wanted to show my, my best store right so i didn't show anyone this so this was probably doing like 10k a month i'd probably say because just because like like typically i'd say i would probably a little less it's probably doing eight to nine k a month my list did a lot better um okay remember guys this one the branding strategy right was just aliexpress pictures um no real branding um no real like real genuine marketing it was just hey we're gonna post these aliexpress images blah blah, blah and just do that right that's um that's what we did and i think that i think right there I show you guys like should show you guys like hey if you do your own content you literally can make more just because you're doing your own content and having your own brand around it right so that in itself is really really powerful um and so that's the 1099 form for that PayPal account. Um, I don't know what else to show you guys basically, but that's like, that's my first site, um, our first two stories basically, and kind of just walking you guys through um, the as much of the back end as possible, like literally being as transparent as I possibly can with you guys about these two stores. Um, but now guys, like, I mean, that's like one thing I'd switch from now is like, um, I don't use Shopify payments. I either use Stripe or Authorize.net, so that's something you guys should be aware of. Um, Authorize.net is more delineated with chargebacks. So if you guys are like experiencing more chargebacks, again, you can completely avoid you can completely avoid the Shopify hold um, if you use Authorize.net. If you use Stripe or, or Shopify payments, which is powered by Stripe, you can still get hit with the hold. Um, so that's something to be aware of. But these are just you know additional companies, guys. Um, again, like I'm recording this at two in the morning right now, but these are just other other you know 
companies and stuff that that I'm working on now currently um, as well as I mean there's, there's, there's a bunch more but these are just ones that I, I pulled up really quickly to kind of just showcase for you guys um, to hopefully inspire you guys and show you guys like hey you know I, this is where I started I started with this crappy you know website that that did really good results right um, you know Cobra coin no no real branding um, AliExpress images it still did good numbers right so like 8k a month 9k a month like that that still would be like good for people just starting off right if you can get 9k your first month after you know you just get a job shipping like that that's good but um if you can do your own content create your own brand um, create your own story behind your products like I did with the nugget you can make a lot more money okay so that's that's kind of where I was going um, basically with with that and then you know just showing you guys this stuff just so that you guys can kind of hopefully you know be uh, be inspired I guess just to, like get out there and and put some work in but again guys why I think um, my first sites declined right one I didn't start doing paid ads quick enough right literally I should have I should have been on doing paid ads after like the first three days of my store going live just because of the volume I was getting um, but that that didn't really uh, <laughs> that didn't really go um, go as planned because I just didn't know anything about paid ads uh, again I was broke and I was doing everything I could just to get sales and figure it out um, that's what I want you guys to understand is like I'm not I, I, I I'm not perfect I, I wasn't perfect before then I was still trying to figure things out. Now I have a much better grasp on it, which is why I tell you guys, like, if you stick to the process, you will get results, okay? If you follow this stuff, you will get results, okay? And that's, that's what I want to, like, try and, like, ingrain into you guys' heads and whatnot. Again, this has been a really long video, but if you guys are still here, then, you know, props to you. Uh, literally, you know, email me. I'm, I'm here for questions. DM me. Whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up. But, um... That's basically the video guys. I don't know what else to kind of walk through just um, when you're first starting out right like again Start paid ads as soon as you can comfortably afford to do so um, You know don't don't try and scale too fast. Like don't try and make too many shops too quickly Okay, that's what I did wrong. That's what I noticed. Okay, so when I started making too many shops um, One my marketing went down my I, I just couldn't focus on all the things and when I was trying to bring things in house Like I was spending so much money on inventory guys like ordering from these different suppliers to bring in the to my house, like I should have used that money for marketing, okay? Like I was really like you guys saw like earlier, I mean you can go back, but I was spending you know a thousand, two thousand dollars on these different products and in inventory when that could have been going to paid ads and scaling my site ridiculously high. Um, but again, I never, <laughs> I never did. So that's that's my mistake that hopefully you guys can learn from um, and do better, um, do better than me with when, when you guys you know first start dropshipping because I think a lot of you guys watching are are more beginners um, rather than you know more experienced. And if you are, then you know good for you. Um, that's amazing. And that's I think that's the video, guys. I don't know what else exactly to kind of break down for. I basically showed you guys literally like everything. Like I showed you guys, you know, I literally went into my email, showed you guys all that kind of stuff. Um, broke down, you know, the the domains, the. Uh, the Instagrams, the PayPal's, the 1099 that people were freaking out about. Um, that's that, guys. So that's just kind of explain that. Um, to explain the YouTube stuff. Like, literally, I'm just here to help you guys out. Like, seriously, that's why. Like, I don't. I literally don't like tell you guys like you have to buy my course. Like, I've never said that. I've never said that on social media. I've never even told people I have a course on social media. Um, like everyone else has um, on this YouTube game. So. I don't know. I pride myself in being you know, one of the actual people that has done dropshipping from the beginning and is here to actually help people. So like, that's what I love. That's what I love about my boy Sebastian. He's like literally here just to help people out. Um, that's why like I'm literally teaming up with him for the zero to one K challenge, which is again completely free. So like, we're literally gonna change the game and change the industry, guys. That's what I want you guys to know. I want you guys to like realize that hey, you, like we don't want you spending money on. An expensive course if you like literally have no idea about dropshipping. So we want this zero to one K to be like an entry thing. Like, hey, you guys can get in dropshipping. Literally see how we make a thousand dollars. If it's for you, then awesome. If it's not for you, then good. You didn't lose anything. Um, you just learned stuff about e-commerce, right? So that's the plan, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a long one. Um, if you guys just stick around, like seriously, I I really really do appreciate it, guys. Like like more than more than you know. Um, literally, like if 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 you've gone this far, email me. Okay, and I will give you the course for free. Just saying. I would appreciate a like and a comment and a subscribe, but if you've gotten this far, email me, I'll give you my course for free. I'm literally like, I'm telling you guys, I'm here to help you guys out. And if you guys have actually watched this lengthy ass video and got here, and you're, you're like, you, you, you deserve to win, right? Because again, this is, this is not necessarily like the most entertaining video, but hopefully it's giving you guys some insight into stuff. So that's what I'm here to do, guys. I'm here to help you guys out, and I hope you guys actually like kind of. Um, like see that um, so people trying to call me out on some bullshit, but that's, that's that guys So I hope you guys enjoy leave a like um, don't forget to comment I respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe We're doing a video today guys. I love you. 
I'm here. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm grinding this out for you guys. Hopefully give you guys some insight. Again, takeaways from this video, right? Just a little recap before, before you know it, before, before I stop recording. But basically, guys, start your ads as soon as you can without, you know, losing a lot of money. Like when you can afford to experiment. Don't try and diversify too fast, okay? And don't try and brand, like bring everything in-house too quickly when you're not ready to do so. I should have been doing that when I was doing like 100K a month, okay? Not when I was doing 20, 30K a month. No, no, okay? So that's that, guys. I hope you guys enjoy again. Leave a like, don't forget to comment, and please subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. I just spit. Um, but that's that, guys. Take care. There's my mic, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.